Hi there, Phil here from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how the JIRA connector for Smartsheet can help users of the two platforms collaborate better. An obvious use case for this is when you have a team managing a portfolio of work using Smartsheet, but have sub teams developing software using JIRA to manage their tasks and they want that information to roll back up to a portfolio level. So let's get started. Here I have a fairly standard time plan that I've put together and populated with a few rows. The columns that we have from status through to assigned to are fairly standard that you'd expect to see. We have start date, end date, predecessors, task name, assignee, all that sort of stuff. Um, over on the right, we have the more Jira centric ones that we need um, enable, to enable the sync to happen between the two systems. So we have issue key, issue type, epic name, epic link. And, um, and sync status is a, a system generated field that tells you whether or not each row has synced correctly uh, when the two systems are passing information back and forth between one another. Over in Jira, I have a Kanban um, project that I've created uh, with a fairly standard set of columns. Uh, I've enabled the backlog, and when you go into the uh, into the view for each each uh, issue, um, again the sort of standard fields that we have available that you'd expect to see. We've got the epic link, which is the um, kind of the, the hierarchy within Jira, and we have this preceding task field, which is a custom one I've put in there that effectively leverages the predecessor function in Smartsheet to, um, to identify the issue keys of preceding tasks. Now, if I wanted to create a new task in here, all I'd need to do is go put it demo task six. Let's say I'm going to put it into the backlog, which is the logical place for it to start. Um, I want to make row six its predecessor. I'm going to assign it to myself. Um, and maybe we'll give it a duration just uh, for variety of three days. So you can see that's all going through nicely into the Gantt view. Now, the one thing I mustn't forget to do here is to identify what type of issue I'm creating. Uh, otherwise, it won't it won't sync through to Jira. So what I'm going to do here is it's going to be a task. I'll hit save on that. And then we'll go over into Jira. Um, it's not going to appear here because I've set the backlog being the status that we want to um, start it off at. So if we sync it through and re refresh, you can see that, that that task has now appeared in the backlog. That's all great. Most of the information is through there. What I didn't identify is whether it's part of the um, uh, of the test epic that, um, that I'm using to group everything together. So if we go back into, into Smartsheet, um, you can see that the, I, I didn't put anything in the epic link here. So there is no um, there is no epic identified, there's no parent given to this, even though I've put it into the hierarchy. For the purposes of this, um, I can put that link in here. Either let's do it from uh, let's do it from Jira actually, uh, just just to show you the information passing the other way. So for this task, let's go epic link, test epic three, and just while we're here, what should we do? Let's um, let's move demo task five. Let's click on that and say, hey, we're going to move that into, into the to-do column. You'll move it up here and we'll also be able to see it um, on the Kanban board as well. This is just to show you the information passing back into Smartsheet. So if I hit refresh. And what we can now see is that the status for demo task five has now changed to to-do. Uh, the epic link has been populated for uh, for demo task six, telling us that it now sits under this um, this level of hierarchy. Um, and just to make a point, we also got the issue key that's come through here uh, that that is synced back from Jira to tell us that the uh, the de demo task sync has has created that that issue within Jira. Now, what happens if we want to do it the other way? We'll go into Jira. We're in the backlog here. Let's go to create issue. In fact, let's do it from here. Um, we're going to create a task again. It's going to go into the backlog. We'll do demo task seven. Anything else we want to fill in here? Assignee, let's assign it to myself. Priority labels, epic link. Let's put the epic link in here. Um, let's put it in directly. And the reason for this is I want to show you how the, the um, it syncs back and applies that uh, that hierarchy automatically in, in, uh, in Smartsheet. So we'll create that. 
There we go, looks very much the same as the one we just created from Smartsheet side. Go back into Smartsheet, hit refresh. Okay, and now we, now we see that this one has come through, actually um, it's coming at the top of our, our time plan. Uh, not to worry, as a program manager, I can work with that. Uh, I'll just move it down to here. Um, it's not currently indented under the Epic, that, that should sink in soon. Uh, what I do need to say is that there is, you know, I, I don't have a start date or an end date, but yeah, again, um, this is up to me now to really plan this uh, this new task that's come from Jira into the program. So I could say, hey, that one that one's gonna go in parallel with um, with the task we created previously. So that one's also gonna have a predecessor of six. Um, let's say it's gonna take the same length of time as well. So that will sync back into uh, into Jira, um, and let's just give it another refresh. I'm just waiting for it to indent, because what it should be doing is it should be reading the uh, the Epic link um, and saying, "Hey, well, this is part of." There we go. One second. Yep. So it said, "I'm I'm part of the uh, Epic link TL2." Um, that means that I'm I should be nested under this. So uh, the, the Jira connector will it will force the Jira hierarchy back into Smartsheet. Um, there are a few clever tricks that you can use with this, but primarily it just saves you having to then go and indent new tasks under the right um, part of your program. So there you have it. You can create tasks both in Jira and in Smartsheet. You can get information passing uh, in either direction. It's a really powerful way of getting teams in sync and keeping up to date with progress. Um, I hope this has been of interest. Do get in contact if you have any questions and I'll look out for you in the next video. Thanks for watching.